Undefeated in 2010, TCU couldn't climb into the top two spots in the BCS rankings that year. Now, with even college football's playoff expanding to four teams, they're still left out in the cold. Hello everyone, I'm Ray Crawford. Joining us our TCU insider and voice of the Horned Frogs, Brian Estridge. And Brian, you pegged the chances of TCU getting in at 100%. What more could they have done to get in? Ray, my wife will tell you that's not the first mistake that I've ever made either. No, uh, you know, it was a case where I think there's nothing else TCU could have done. You, you uh, win your last game by 52 points. You go to a knee two times in the final five minutes on two separate drives when you could have scored more, uh, but you didn't do it. Um, you, you took care of the business at hand, uh, but let's face it, you drop from number three to number six after winning by 52. It, it, it's obvious that it was out of TCU's hands. At this point, it was a, a perfect storm against the Big 12. You had co-champions. Obviously, the committee didn't like that, whether they say it or not. Uh, you didn't have a championship game for this league. Uh, that obviously is very important. Uh, and then you had the perfect storm of a perfect game by Ohio State in their championship game. So I think you wind all that together and you come up with a story that says TCU and Baylor are on the outside looking in, unfortunately. Committee Chair Jeff Long said the fact Ohio State played a 13th game against a ranked opponent was taken into account as part of their overall resume. So will TCU and, and others like Baylor and the Big 12 be looking at how this can be avoided either in scheduling non-conference or with a Big 12 championship game? Yeah, I, I think the Big 12 championship game is the is the obvious point to make, and I think the commissioner Bob Bowlesby has already talked about that today. That uh, uh, you know it would be great to know ahead of time that you're going to get penalized for not having it, but uh, now that you have been penalized, I think that obviously comes to the forefront. I think there's even been some paperwork already filed months ago uh, by the Big 12 and the ACC for a waiver for a championship game, and and the restrictions that are placed upon them by the NCAA. So yeah, I, I think that's going to come up in the future. Wrestling will continue to be an issue. I think TCU has always looked at the non-conference schedule and said, okay, we're going to make sure we are playing one team from a Power 5 conference at least in that non-conference schedule. I think that will continue uh, for TCU. But the championship game obviously matters. And, and for TCU, there's really nothing they could have do, done about it this year. They just have to live with the consequences. All right, a team that goes from third in the rankings to sixth in a matter of uh, 24 hours or so. Brian, thanks for the insight. We appreciate it. All right, Rick. We hear where Brian stands. What about our Pete Futek and Doug Chapman? Did the committee get it right? Check out the video up now on CampusInsiders.com.